the other fascinating piece uh, of work that you're doing up here is with the diagnostics mm -hmm. and the um, the surveillance of our folks and how the testing is corresponding to risk mitigation. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so, so what's important to realize is, is it's, a, it's a very complicated story right now and so much of it is unknown. As we talk about new variants coming in, as we talk about how effective the vaccine and how durable it is, part of what's gonna be important is to determine diagnostically what do we do with these people. So right now we do zero and 14 days going into basic trainee. We test before we go overseas or fly internationally. There's lots of interventions we do that we think works, but as the vaccine rolls out and as we have more immunity in the population, those vaccine or the diagnostic approaches are gonna to have to shift a little bit. So it may not just be a PCR platform anymore. It may actually be an antibody platform, or it may be sort of like the Binax, the antigen-based platform, which may allow us to shift from you're just infected to you're infectious. And if I can tell you're infectious, then I really do need to isolate you and keep everyone away from you. If you were infected and now you're protected from an immune response or an antibody response, I can put you out in the normal population and there's no risk. Right now, we really struggle understanding that space, and that's where the diagnostic information will continue to get better. Good, so that's, that's our, our key to whether or not we've got it right with the amount of ROM uh, and the way that we're treating people when they arrive at large-scale training exercises or basic training um, environments.